people ask me somewhat regularly, kind of, who, who am I? What's my vocation? I'm a husband, I'm a father, and then I'm a pastor. My children and my wife are my main ministry, my main focus. We've been able to move from coast to coast, really. We began as a family in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is on the Gulf Coast of, of Florida. We were able to serve in ministry together there. Then we moved uh, to the west side of Denver. I think Espen might have been the first to know we were supposed to move and said, I know you don't really want to move, but remember when God tells us to do something, we're supposed to do it. Sometimes God speaks to him differently. But here we found ourselves moving to California as God made us call exceptionally clear. So we're wondering, are we going to be welcome into the state? Are we going to be welcome into Orange County? Are we going to be welcome into this school? As a family, we walked through the halls of Orange Lutheran and there was this constant high fives and hugs. You saw a community that wanted to hang out together. Students were introducing themselves to us saying, hey, you must be thinking about coming to Orange Lutheran. You should come here. So what kind of place is this? Well, it seems to be it's a place that has a unified vision that's on a unified mission of celebrating one another in the way that God has uniquely created them to be. You want your kids to feel safe and loved so that they can thrive. <laughs> He's just talking. <laughs> I, I do like to do that. So you're the talkative one of the family? No, mm. <laughs> no, I am. Yes, we're very much our father's kids. I would not have expected coming in as a freshman three years ago that I'd be able to do the things that I can do now or have the opportunities that I've had. Yeah, it's hard to choose. There's a lot of, a lot of options. It's kind of just a whirlwind. There's always something going on and it is quite a lot of fun to do. My wife's an educator, so she picks up on the, the benchmarks. Here's where our kids are at because of their school. And here's where our kids are at because of the, the environment that's around them. Now, I also have a third. Uh, she's a seventh grader right now, and she can't wait to go to Orange Lutheran. As a matter of fact, it was just a couple of weeks ago. She said, Dad, can I skip eighth grade so I can go to Orange Lutheran now? Being a pastor and a teacher in a Lutheran church and school, uh, we just don't have the resources to make that happen. And we are grateful that so many others have taken this opportunity to allow families like ours to be able to send our children to this amazing school. I know that they are being embraced by a staff and a faculty that want to see my children thrive and to know Jesus. My kids wouldn't be at Orange Lutheran without your support. And I know that. Actually, my kids know that too. Thank you for making it possible for me to share these stories and to have Orange Lutheran be a part of my life and my kids' life. That actually came from you. I don't know if there's a more fear-filled element of parenting than leaving your kids at school or somewhere else. When I drop my children off at school, just like every parent, we, we have these concerns. Here I go, I'm, I'm dropping them off. I don't have fear when I drop off my kids. God has allowed us to have our family be welcomed into a community that I hope we get to be a part of for a long time. I feel honored and incredibly thankful.